Pretty Changes Barbie doll featured on a previous episode of Terrific Non-TV Toys. Now behold, another Barbie from my childhood. <laughs> There is a special dedication of this episode to a couple friends of mine on YouTube. Janet's Planet, who played with the same kind of dolls that I did as a little girl, and I think we may have talked about this doll in some of our comments on videos. And then Blythe World 1972, who also loves this era of dolls and recently snagged one of these beauties for herself online. And I think hers is probably in better condition than mine. This is a played with doll from my childhood and she is super size Barbie by Mattel she is dated 1976 by most accounts and as I recall she followed very closely on the heels of the superstar Barbie doll um, which I believe was the first Barbie to use this bent arm mold that's how I remember it anyways superstar Barbie came dressed in a hot pink satin gown and a feather boa and super size Barbie was a sort of spin-off or variation of her with the same kind of bent arm mold, um, the satiny gown, because you can see she's got some accessories in satin here, and the superstar status, doesn't she look like a superstar? She's even got the stand over there. And then the play on the name, super size versus superstar. And this girl is definitely bigger. She is 18 inches high versus Barbie's traditional 11 and a half inches over the years. And we're gonna go real quick right now to what both dolls looked like in the box. Super Size Barbie had a few different outfits over there that you're going to be seeing shortly. These were sold separately back in the day. I've got, I think, three out of the several outfits that she had. So we're going to look at some of those. But first, let's look at what actually came with the doll. And I'm going to come over here and hope that the sound comes through okay. So you see, um, she's got this base... Um, bodysuit, I guess you'd call it, or swimsuit that's satiny, and it's got a crisscross in the back, and a snap right there, snap enclosure, um, and it's got like all kinds of glittery treatment going on, very fitted, very pretty, and she came with also, because Barbies like to be versatile and have different looks, like you saw in the Pretty Changes Barbie in a previous episode. Um, she's got a skirt, isn't that lovely? Um, so a satiny skirt that matches. Or if she's feeling like some slacks, let's put her in her slacks. Now these I had to clean up a little bit. Over the years, for some reason, they had some little, what looked like rust spots, although there's no metal really here except for perhaps the snap. Um, but they had like little rust spots on them and I did a little video before the cleanup so you could see after. So I'll show you a short clip of, um, and hopefully those come through on camera, those little spots that were all over the skirt and the pants. Okay, and I hope you can see the difference. Um, this is pretty white. I washed them both, and I think they came out pretty well. And then I ironed to keep that beautiful satiny texture, especially on the pants, the slacks. They've got the little bric-a-brac going down the side and I ironed that <laughs> that that little crease in there too very very 
tasteful slacks. A little bit of flare at the bottom, reflecting the 70s. Okay, so her cleanup job was pretty successful. I tried to wash up her face a little bit, which was a little bit dirty. And you can see, um, I did this French braiding when I put her away many, many years ago, when I put her into storage. And I'm just leaving it that way for the purposes of this video because um, I think it's you know, it's to a certain extent um, preserving her hair because, you know, the hair gets all ratty. So I'm just going to leave it that way. But um, Super Size Barbie also came with a stand, very much like Superstar Barbie. You can see this is just a plain plastic stand. I've evidently lost the post to it. Um, it's possible it may be in a box downstairs, but I don't think I've laid eyes on it in a lot of years. But on the underside, it just says Copyright Mattel um, Inc., 1976 USA, and then some kind of couple um, little product numbers. So yeah, there's that. And um, <laughs> here's an ancient artifact. You recognize these? <laughs> I used this to store her accessories in. I don't know, maybe I'm not the only one who did that so many years ago, but it was handy at the time, um, so we'll set that aside. Her shoes that came with her, I got two pairs of white shoes here because one pair came with one of her outfits. I'm guessing the dirtier pair is the pair that actually came with the doll, so we will slip those on, hopefully without breaking. So you can see they're cute little, um, I guess like Mary Jane type shoes with a slight heel. She doesn't need much heel because she's pretty tall. Okay, those are quite nice. And then, um, oh my gosh, so many other accessories came with her. That does not belong there. You know, I realized, I have to correct an error, I think I showed this with the Pretty Changes Barbie episode, mistakenly thinking after all these years that it was one of her accessories. I believe it came with Super Size Barbie, although it looks pretty small and it can certainly fit either doll. Because Super Size Barbie came with, you can see she's missing one earring here. <laughs> she came with a set of white plastic star jewelry that was like earrings, necklace, you know, etc. And then she came with a set of rhinestone jewelry. And I believe she came wearing the rhinestone jewelry and then the white star jewelry came on plastic tear apart strips. And I'm going to show you because I found online, I'm going to show you um, what that accessory set looked like right now. Okay, there's the full set, but <laughs> what you see here are some missing pieces and parts along the way. And they designed this so that um, the owner of the doll, the little girl, could wear some of this stuff too. So this could be a bracelet for a little girl, but then it's also a tiara for super size Barbie. Yeah, because um, it just has a little clip in the back. Um, it's like a belt buckle. You see how that's got the pegs and everything. And so you can fit that um, with a little bit more effort than I'm exerting here. You can fit that onto her head as a tiara. So she's got that. And then look at this little guy. This could be a ring for the little girl. And it also is a little bracelet for Barbie. <laughs> a barrette for either one of you, doll or little girl owner. <laughs> and then here is the necklace preserved after all these years, still in one piece, I guess because it wasn't quite too small for me to lose. So there's the necklace. And you can see, maybe you noticed it already, um, she has signs of a ring right here. <laughs> Just like the Pretty Changes Barbie, um, she had a hole in her ring finger um, on each hand, no, just on one hand. Um, she had a hole in her ring finger, so you can, um, and the ring was just a post, really, that you slipped in there. But 
the white star plastic part broke off of the, over the years, so just the post is stuck in there. See that? <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. Missing an earring, missing part of a ring. Um, and then this thing, oh my gosh. Okay, not that thing, I'm putting that aside. Um, this thing, the ribbon, I saw that in my box. When I was doing the research for this episode, I looked online, I found all the photos of what originally came from her and some documentation of stuff that came with her. And when I saw this in the Band-Aid box, I'm thinking, oh, that was just some ribbon that I had. But no, this actually came with her. <laughs> I was kind of surprised to realize that after all these years. It started fraying on the ends, so it's got very yellow tape in my little girl attempt to seal it down. <laughs> but there's a ribbon for her hair and maybe the little girl owner can use that, you know, um, you know, as a bracelet or whatever. So these are the accessories that have survived <laughs> over the years. Um, I think what I found in the listing, like on eBay, you can go, you can go find her on eBay right now from anywhere um, for sale for anywhere from $9 out of the box to like $100 in the box complete. And some of her outfits, which you're gonna see, can go for $100 or more. So you can spend a little bit on this doll. But doing the research and seeing in the eBay listings what came with the complete doll in the box, um, what I found was bodysuit, skirt, slacks, um, earrings, choker, ring, shoes, a stand that had three pieces, so maybe I'm missing two pieces of that white star stand, child bracelet slash tiara, barrette, necklace, um, but there were two sets of earrings and two necklaces for her. So you can see the necklaces here and one of the evidently four earrings and part of one of the two rings. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at these outfits. First up, it's this very nice pants suit with a little beret that matches the slacks, just some pretty straight slacks of a sort of canvassy material. Um, and they've got a um, elastic waistband and a polyester type cowl necked shirt with three-quarter length sleeves. So she's gonna go shopping or sightseeing in this outfit with the newer white shoes on. <laughs> and her beret fell off, um, but you can see that's just the canvassy material. Oh, and she's got a purse with this. I almost forgot the purse that goes with it. It's sort of a woven material there with the same kind of red canvasy trim as her slacks. So let's go for a walk, Barbie. Let's go get coffee and go shopping. The next item is a gown, and this is pink and yellow with some silvery, glittery bric-a-brac trim. And no snaps or elastic or anything, it just slips right on her. And um, it's very glamorous. And she's got yellow shoes, you notice that. Uh, they're using the same mold for all of these pairs of shoes, but these are in yellow. These shoes, by the way, can come apart there. I've been slipping them on and off carefully. Um, but they have like a little enclosure with the peg there that they can come off. Now this dress has a filmy sort of um, wrap or overcoat jacket that goes with it. So we will put that on her so you can get the full effect here. The bent arms, I think, did make it a little tricky to get clothing on and off her. Da, da. Yeah, and then with this nice little filmy jacket, veiled jacket, you can tie it here. Very pretty. You see the effect here, pink and yellow, and then yellow and pink on the other side. Almost like a Harley Quinn type gown, evening gown. All right, very pretty going out on the town, going to a party. 
And the final outfit we'll show that was sold separately that I had from back in the day is this beautiful gown. Another gown. And if she's a superstar, she's going to perform in this gown. Look at how lovely it is on her. It's got a snap and back. And it's a polyester type, um, uh, very light material. It's got a flowing part of the skirt here from the sequined line that you see here. Sort of orange sequins with white and blue fabric and flares out. And I'll show you on the blue shoes that she has. Um, this one, this shoe is broken that part you can't really see it on the camera but it's split and so these won't quite stay shut but those are the blue shoes that go with her you can notice her articulation is much like a regular Barbie her head moves swivels her arms move up like that um, and then her hips swivel too on an angle um, but most Barbies you'll see have the bent knee, like a vinyl type bent knee, and she's all hard plastic. Her knee does not bend, um, but other than that, much the same articulation as a regular Barbie doll. And she is definitely a superstar herself in super size. She is just beautiful. Now, yes, there have been other Barbie dolls over the years since her that have been bigger, um, a lot bigger. But back in 1976, when it comes to came to Barbie, um, she was the biggest game in town. And I remember how excited I was when she first came out and how much I wanted this doll, how much I begged my mom to have this doll. So, and I did receive her like for Christmas or birthday one year back then. So she is a wonderful part of my collection. Thank you so much again for sharing the memories with me. And keep it tuned to BRB TV for more terrific non-TV toys.